Hey yo, and welcome to Gallum Does the Internet. Yes, finally back on the second channel. Today I am going to be looking at my sub ready. Now, full disclosure, I did try and film this video already, but unfortunately I was out of focus for all of it. So we're trying it again for the second time, which does mean I've kind of got a knowledge of what we're going to be looking at, which is both a good thing and a bad thing, I guess. You know, forewarned is forearmed, I guess, but also, I know some of the filth we're about to look at, but yeah, we're just going to do it. So, the plan is, uh, I've got my subreddit open, I've filtered it by kind of highest rated pubs of all time, got the headphones ready, I'm going to look, watch and react to everything, and the most interesting stuff, the stuff that gets the biggest reaction for me, will be in the review. Alright, let's get stuck in. Alright, here we go. Nothing to see here, just Callum and Lenny in the cockpit of a plane with the Twin Towers casually in the background. I mean, it should go without saying, but I will say it just because some of you love to twist off. I am not responsible for 9-11. Neither is Lenny. He wasn't even alive then, and I'm not part of the weird George Bush conspiracy. So, uh, we're not responsible for that, but... It is a creative meme, I guess. For goodness bloody sake, smash or pass Adolf Adams. Now, I really, really detest these Hitler memes of me. Um, not least because I look an awful lot like him in them. Really disturbing. I'd never realised it, but I think Hitler actually had a bit of a tic-tac head. Maybe if he just had a rant about it like I did, you know, all that nastiness could have been avoided. Something to think about, isn't it? Ah, God, this one's annoying. Callum giving Scooby-Doo's balls a cheeky tickle. Uh, it's quite annoying because it's, it's my fault, basically. Uh, this was when I was filming my distract reply to Afghan Dan. I was struggling to find a good backdrop for the video. Obviously, in Afghan Dan's sense, he had the advantage of living in a massively chavvy Blackpool, which is, you know, makes the perfect backdrop for a distract. I was in Bristol. I didn't have that chavvy option available to me. So I searched for somewhere that had, like, some artwork, graffiti that I could film in front of. Um, once I got there to film, I just wanted to do it as quickly as possible. I was lip syncing and dancing around, you know, worried that people were going to come round the corner. I should have thoroughly investigated what was behind me. I obviously didn't realise that Scooby-Doo had a, a massive bloody penis out, but yeah, you live and learn, I guess. Okay, this one is a video, an annoying bloody video. Uh, Callum's Corner rage quits Roblox after getting sexually abused as a racist donation place gone wrong. Christ, that sounds like the title to a bloody morgues video, doesn't it? Now, this uh, was a truly horrifying moment. I mean, there's been a lot of low points in the corner, but this was truly hitting rock bottom, having a racist donation play whilst I got bombed on a bloody kids game. It was horrifying. This is the reason I don't try and play Roblox anymore. All right, come on. Let's, show, let's have a watch. <laughs> Why is my I feel bad for myself. Yeah, my car, that's my car. Living in innocence, not knowing what's coming. What Check him. Now there it is. What is this? Check him. Bombing me. Uh. Oh, she's bombing me! No! Jesus, that is liberties. How do you just got bombed on Roblox? That is filth. No, I'm exiting it. There's no way I'm getting violated like that. That. No. Yeah, a truly horrifying experience. You think you're safe playing on Roblox. Actually, I should have known better. It's full of bloody nonsense and stuff, isn't it? But me as an adult, at least, I thought I would be safe. But no, there was one of you waiting for me to have your dirty little body way. Ah, uh, this one I find absolutely revolting. The real Tic Tac Taste Test. Now, it's my head but the top of it has been cocked off and replaced with uh, an unfeasibly large penis tip, I think, that a woman is socking on. Um, please do not make the top of my head a penis. That is absolutely horrifying. Everything about that image disturbs me. I don't like it. All right, Callum gets justice. Breaking into unsuspecting black people's Houses. I don't know why you're so bloody desperate to make me racist. It's fake. I'm not racist. And I'm not a bloody burglar. I'm not Afghan Dan. I would never break into someone's house, let alone a black person's house. Very annoying. That time when Callum got 50 loaves of bread delivered. This was, hands down, your most effective troll. It's probably the only time when you well and truly got the better of me. Um, what happened was, it was during the phase when you were targeting me with chocsters. You'd found my home address, and every day I was getting five, ten chocsters delivered to my house. 
one evening and as the delivery turned up and it was just hundreds of loaves of budget bread, um, obviously to be used in the toasters. Now, I wanted to send the delivery back. I didn't want to accept it because I had nobody room in my house due to the toasters and turf samples and stuff you'd send. The as the delivery guy really didn't want me to send it back. He's like, no, you've got to take it now. What do you mean I've got to take it? I'm not accepting the delivery. He then said, well, I need to speak to your mum then. So what do you mean you need to speak to my mum? I'm a middle-aged bloke. Anyway, we argued back and forth for an inordinate amount of time before he showed me the delivery note. Uh, you guys had specified on it that if the tall, bald bloke answered the door and tried to send the delivery away, I had, you know, had to speak to the mum, basically, because I was highly autistic. Really bloody irritating, and yeah, you did get me with that one. Okay, this one is a much better video to watch. Here is the legendary moment that will mark history on the corner. Now, this was my first ever win in full, guys. And to give you a little bit of kind of background, I was about 360 hours deep into the game. Stream after stream after stream. I tried and failed to get that first crown. Everyone in the chat was, you know, begging me to give up, telling me I was never going to win. But I stayed strong. I had the belief that eventually I could fluke a win. Um, pay careful attention, actually, to what's going on the right-hand side of this kind of screen. A legend from the corner, Malkin, actually held everyone else back so I could go and get that win. Your bloody service will never be forgotten, Malkin. You contributed to a glorious bloody moment. In fact, probably my favourite ever stream moment. All right, let's relive and watch this. Bugger me! There's Malkin holding them all back. Oh! Yes! We are not even eating it! Yes! Oh, there goes my cider. Yeah. Yes! 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 Oh my god! Love that. Absolutely love that. 360 odd hours of frustration, happiness, anger, all coming out. Kind of wish I hadn't ripped my t-shirt because I'm not sure, but you might have got a tiny little glance at my nipples, which is something I've always strived very hard to avoid. But yeah, I wouldn't change it for the world. It was a glorious moment. Uh, got these in the Primani alpha male section. No, you bloody didn't. My head is not available on socks in Primark. There is a weird subsection of the internet where there's all this weird unofficial merch that I've got nothing to do with, like my face stretched out on skirts and tops and stuff and on bloody socks. It makes me very uncomfortable, the idea that my face is on your bloody feet. Plus the socks look like they're terrible quality. But yeah, okay. Right, okay, this is hands down my favourite thing I've seen on here. It's just titled Ale, and it is a, an incredible drawing of me. Uh, it's so nice to see some fan art on here that's just actually nice, a great drawing, not me as Hitler or me doing weird stuff with penises or committing terrorist atrocities. Love this. You've done brilliantly there, mate. Oh God, this one is so disturbing. Curse Callum. It is me and then me holding a baby that has my head on it. It is absolutely horrific. I can't stop looking at it. It's like I've got a little golem baby or something. Maybe... I haven't seen this, actually. It's a good thing that I haven't had kids. Christ. Ah, uh, love this one. Love this one. It is Darth Adams and his apprentice Lenny. Now, part of me wants to argue and say, oh, I'd definitely be on the goodie side. You know, I'd be a Jedi warrior, but, you know, could you really turn down being Darth bloody Vader? It would be incredible. The forces of evil behind you, a bloody lightsaber, a cool cloak. And I tell you what, if I was Darth Vader, it would have been a very different movie. It would have been game over for the universe with my specific set of skills and a bloody lightsaber. Game over. All right, another piece of fan art. A frame from the Lord's recent video which urged me to proclaim my love for him through this drawing. Now, obviously, it's not the most flattering of pictures. It's, a, it's a, like a still frame from a video where obviously I was angry in it. But you've just got to respect that. That is incredible talent. Massive. Well done. Okay, Neil plus Neil's dad equals Callum's Corner. Now, this one, is, basically, I made a massive mistake one stream. I paired my nice blue sweatshirt uh, with a white polo shirt. And everyone went mental, mental chicken oriental, saying I looked like I was on my way to school in my school uniform, the in-betweeners school. Someone has obviously ran with that idea and... Um, Put Neil's dad in there. 
uh, he's, you know, clearly he's bald, he's got quite a slender head, and it is, yeah, it's annoyingly accurate, isn't it? For Christ's sake, what is your obsession with Elliot Bloody Roger? Leaked image from Callum's old Facebook, and it's me and the Bloody Rog on some kind of day trip down by the south bank of the River Thames. I would never be friends with the Rog. Even if he survived, I want nothing to do with him. I do not understand your bloody obsession with him. He was an incel and he murdered loads of people. He's literally a massive twat. He's one of the worst blokes in history. Idiot, I would never be friends with him. Okay, I'm glad someone's posted this one. It's quite nice for you to have a little look at. Callum with hair, Callum with hair. It's just proof that I didn't always look like this. Um, and also, it proves to you just how dedicated I am to my self-defense. You know, I could be walking around with lovely hair, you know, all over my head, jet black, but I choose to keep it all short and shaving off for self-defense purposes. You know, if I ever get in a grapple, there is no way someone's getting a hold of my hair. But, you know, it comes at a high price because I could be casually sporting that hair, probably doing better with the ladies, but dedication. Oh, wow, this one is incredible. Hands down, probably the most involved meme I've ever seen. Definitely the best thing on the uh, Reddit, I think, so far. So it's my corner as an iceberg. And at the top tier, we've got uni lad. My head does not look like a sod in Tic Tac, Will and E, self-defense video, seven pound hotel. And then just below the surface of the sea, we've got more meme reviews, Twitch, guinea pigs, reaction videos, Eddie, Lenny. And then going down a little bit deeper down to the darker depths, we've got Cousin Greg videos and other people's channels, uh, Blaze Q&As and stuff, uh, trending on bloody Pornhub. Callum does the internet, this bloody channel. Discord, Reddit, sleep streams, and then even further down, really plummeting to the depths now, we've got the old Facebook rants videos, deleted videos, public harassment by fans, yeah, that was annoying, Sips drama, the unfinished documentary, and then right down at the bottom, the really seedy section, uh, we've got my address being published, History of the Corner documentary. God, that was a bag of arse. That was two hours of my life. I'm never getting back. Uh, Facebook streams pre-Tic-Tac. Yeah, not a lot of people know that. I used to stream on my Facebook page before anyone was even really watching, like three or four people. I've always loved going live. Um, very different experience back then to my current streams. But there you go. Uh, also, pictures of Callum's family. All the stuff that really shouldn't be out there, but is out there. Yeah, that is just an incredible piece of work that I can only respect it. Right, that brings us to the end of our first Reddit video. Now, I'm going to be doing this regularly here on the second channel. So if there is stuff that you want me to see, anything that you want me to react to, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the subreddit. And it doesn't just have to be stuff like related to me. It can be memes about anything or videos about anything that you want me to react to. You know, it'd be quite nice, in fact, to, to watch and react to something that isn't mocking me in some way. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you did, please do leave a like. If you didn't, please do leave a dislike. And yeah, thank you very much for watching.